Hey guys, what is up? It is me, the one and only Schneiderman here for some more Hearts of Iron, Millennium Dawn. In this episode, we are obviously continuing to play as the great, um, well, Russian Soviet Federative Republic, but just, it'll be the Soviet Union after this episode, or during this episode, I should say, because that is what we're going to focus on, because right now we're seeking Pakistani friendship, but, you know, what? Who cares about the Pakistani friendship? I mean, I honestly shouldn't have done that. I should have just went for war immediately. But I didn't because I'm not smart, so we're going to seek Pakistani friendship. Um, how much does China like us? Look at that. They freaking love us. Ha. Huh. Loving us. We don't really love them that much, though. Yeah. Um, anywho, in this episode, let's... What's this? Current education policy says too much attention to the old classics written by reactionary thinkers, if they were thinkers at all. We should reshift our attention to the actual old classic. Marx, Lenin, young people need to know that revolution is preferable to reform and that collectivism is preferable to capitalism. Okay, I'll do that uh, later. Yeah, okay. Um, I did this off screen, but Pakistan... We are supporting a communist thing, because all of our friends will be very communist. U.S. has military access to Pakistan. Come on, Pakistan. What the hell? Get with the program. Interesting, India. You're giving a lot of guarantees out there. Here's this random woman. Um... Yeah, we're just looking at everything, and everything's looking very nice in our world. We got a boy, Kim Jong-il, here. I don't know when he dies. I don't know if it's an event in the game or not. So, we're just going to speed ahead until we become friends with Pakistan. Also, Turkey is very communist. Love it. And Pakistan is 34% um, Islamist, but their next biggest is, I believe, communism, or maybe it's not aligned. 19 to 21. Yeah, it's communism. Okay. Because if it's not aligned, then I'd be like, yeah, that kind of sucks. We have 99 factories. Cool, Leo. What are we building right now? A nuclear reactor. We are almost getting our first nuclear bomb, which is a very nice. Going to be built, built very soon. And look at that, we have a nuclear bomb. Ha, huh. lovely. Lovely, we can nuke a place if we want. Um, should we go after Ukraine? Because they're going to be a big ass problem eventually down the road. Trenchant Studio is up, buds, we can't attack them. They're our friends. We have a tank division exile in here. We have military access to Ukraine? the hell, Ukraine? Are you high? I think you're high. There you go. Ooh, more military factors? Are you kidding me? Skibbity bam. There we go. Now we got more planes in there. Let's do some research down into our support building. No, I don't think we've done anything with our land doctrine yet. No, we haven't. Um, let's see. I do think we have a lot of tanks. I do. I'm gonna go down mobile warfare. Yeah. We should apply to join the EU. I'm sure they'd accept us. You know, just a communist power in the East. We're best friends, basically. They'd love us.
I'm on Pakistan. Be my friend. Ethiopia against Chinese military assistance. Ethiopia has defied America. Cool, I don't care. Pakistan's our friend. And now... Yes. And it's, this takes a whole year. Holy crap -roly. let us um, not do that. And instead, we're going to go with... Stand with autocracy? Because then we get... What's that do? Gain base war support. Path of order, which gains drift towards fascism, plus four. Drift towards nationalism, plus four. Monarchy, reactionary. For 730 days. I want the Kims to be our friends, though. Oh, well. I guess we'll do that later. Let's modernize the military, because we haven't done that yet. We can go down. Hold on. What's everything to do? Just checking it all out. Okay, yeah, modernize the military. Then after that, I promise we will restore the Soviet Union. We need to raise the high taxes. This is what we're going to do when we get the 150 political power. Because then look at all the extra stuff we get. From moderate taxes. Ooh. A thing. Modern industrial robots. There we go. We got th our Russian bots. They're gonna hack your election. You better be scared. Ooh, what's this? Reactionary influence plus five. Okay. Alrighty then, look at that. Looking lovely. Very lovely indeed as we go um, times five speed is what I'm at right now. Two thousand two FIFA World Cup. Cool. Major nationalist route come on guys. Alright, moving on. Very communist, loving it. We're best buds. Change of government. Um, high taxes. Heck to the yeah, bro. We got some high taxes. It's still going up, so that's good. Because now it's going to go up a lot slower. Hmm. <laughs> Just looking at all the things that we can do. Civilian economy, that's stupid. Can't do anything else for a while, though. Seventy-five percent of the Soviet Federation full total number of factories. That's stupid. We'll get early mobilization then, I guess, when economy comes around. Deploy, deploy, deploy. Look at all these divisions here. New army under this guy. Sure. Your front line? Finland. Attack. And you too. You go. I don't know what you are, but you go. A tank in an infantry. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go make a strong central thrust to this capital. Collapse them easily. Quickly. Hopefully this isn't a repeat of the Winter Wars, because that would suck a lot. 
I have ships. That's amazing. I actually have ships. Um... Yep, we're going to send all of them there. So we're going to just... Capital can just starve to death. Alrighty. Um, can we get our guys up here in the north to do anything? Like there, yeah, that's nice. Cause we ain't gonna do much up in the north. Yeah, you guys can stay, I guess. We got a lot of ships there. I'm gonna stand no chance navally. Cause Finland's next up on the hit list. <laughs> They're gonna die. I think we should start justifying on them too. Yep, we're gonna justify against Finland. Conquer. Savo. That's a lot. That's that place. Need 32 more political power. Okay, cool. Finland will be integrated into the Soviet Union, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. They weren't part of it, but they will be part of it. We're going to restore all Russian territory. Except maybe Poland, because Poland's not going to really be that helpful in all this. My question is, though, because Finland's a more powerful country, will they join NATO? I hope they won't, because that would suck quite a bit. Put a tank in Kaliningrad and put a tank there, so we can line the borders. Because I don't think we can, I don't think we have military access to Lithuania. Nope. Yeah, so these guys are just trapped in here. Do we have it through Poland? Nope, because they're part of NATO. Stupid me. Should know this, Bryce. Um, okay, what are we at for modernize the military? Very nice. Fast forward. Um, I'm gonna train another tank division. Right here. Right by the Belarusian border. Modernize the military, and then we're gonna... Restore the USSR. This is going to take a long time, by the way. A full year. More planes. I want to build up my Air Force. That's going to be a priority. Um, speaking of Air Force, where are they at right now? Loving it. Lots of air people. Air people, that's what they're called. Shut up. Yeah, I think we're going to have naval superiority. I don't know. Ooh, we have a carrier in there. That's interesting. And second thought, you might want to stay in the Baltic Sea and protect my ships, so that they don't all sink. And keep going into naval stuff. You guys, um, let's go with, um, shit. Hey, 
Yeah, you guys right here, is that you? Yeah. You go in the Baltic Sea as well. Finland will not stand a chance. They will die. It's a confirmed fact. Especially because, you know, they're not going to get any supplies from other countries. Except maybe Sweden. They can send them supplies through, like, a train network or something. That's going to be pretty much it, though. Look, we already almost got our second nuke. How much... Oh my god, it's going to take so freaking long, dude. Let's begin uh, fabricating a claim on uh, Finland, though. I don't care where. Sure, that. That'll be 245 days until we get to Finland. Alrighty. Construction. Look at all those nuclear factories coming up. Oh boy. We're going to have a lot of nukes when we restore the USSR. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Armenia. Yeah. Yeah. And we annex Belarus, SSR. We annex South Ossetia, Abkhazia, and the Transnistrian Republic. Loving it. So we annex all these countries we're protecting, so I don't need to not protect them. That's great to know. As we restore the Soviet Union. And we have Turkey will be our friend soon. They'll be our friend next year. Holy crap, they're communist. They're very communist. Non-aggression pacts with Azerbaijan, military access... <laughs> Great thing I went after Turkey then, because if I would have attacked Azerbaijan, we'd be in a war with them. No, we'd be in a war with Turkey. And it's all Turkey, too. Let's see all this stuff. Ukraine? What the hell? You have an interesting suit. Love it. Looks fabulous. Belarus is our friend. I'm just looking at like the guarantees, seeing like who's being guaranteed by who. Finland's not being guaranteed by anyone, which is nice. It's nice, very nice. Plus, when we take out Finland, we get a lot more access to like uh, just a lot more land. That's just a huge country to have. Like with Kazakhstan, that's a lot more land we get and. Unlike Kazakhstan, though, Finland has naval ports, which is a very nice for building up a navy. Which is kind of what I'm doing with um, my construction queue coming up. That's a lot of naval stuff. In fact, let's drag you all the way to the top, just to get you out of the way. Cool. Um, we have two nukes, so we're about to get our third. Uh, yeah, two nukes, because these. We have three nuclear reactors. I don't know how many nukes we got. Click to drop a nuclear bomb. They have to be at war with us. And 75% air superiority in the region. One strategic bomber in range. No nuclear blah 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 in progress. Industrial stuff. Cool. We're going to get more naval stuff pretty soon. How's our land doctrine doing? Very slowly. Oh boy, it's going to take a while. We got more stuff right here. Look at this. Hmm. Multicam. We have better camouflage. Or we can get improved anti tank weapons. Let's get better camouflage. 
then we'll work on everything else. Decisions available. Um, we're gonna embrace far left philosophy for our children. It's for our child, for the children, man. Which is gonna be happening very soon, and by very I mean very soon. When is Turkey's election, though? I want to see that, because that is of uh, importance to me. Their election is April 2003. Okay. It's not for a while, but they will be going communist when they flip, and hopefully they will stop giving Azerbaijan access. So, you know what I mean. They'll stop uh, guaranteeing their independence, because I want Azerbaijan to be dead. I can take over them, though, which is very nice. Alright, back to five speed. Free military factories. Um, buff up that Air Force, yo. Embrace follow philosophy. There we go. Should we have being even more um, growing towards communism, though? I think. Yeah, that just brought back the influence. Uh, brought the influence to seven. Jesus. What do we all got here? Ooh, that's a nice, sexy-looking carrier. Let's get a convoy being built. Come on, guys. What the hell? Decrease in submarines so we can have more convoys being built. Dun, 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 dun. Coolio, what's Pakistan at? They gotta be very communist. Look at that. They're extremely communist. Soon they'll kick the U.S. out because, you know, I think they're more communist than Islamists now. Yeah, they are. Loving it. Mobile warfare. <gasps> nah. Okay. We'll go for... Red... No, let's go holographic sight. They'll like that more. My army will like some holographic sights. So then they can find our enemies and kill them. Deploy, 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 and deploy. Alrighty. Finland should not be living for much longer. Loving it. How many more days until we justify against them? Very close to done. Expected to finish March 28th, 2003. Loving it. Where's our um, submarine? We need to put that back up to two now that we got another naval dockyard to build more stuff with. Alrighty. Encryption algorithm. Cool. And a red laser sight. Bam. Finland, you are gonna die. That's the confirmed fact. No way around it. You're basically dead. The USA, what are you doing? Guaranteeing the independence of Palau, New Zealand, Micronesia, Marshall, Kiribati, Korea, Japan, Israel, China in Australia. They have military access to Jordan, Korea, Kuwait, Pakistan, Qatar. So I'm going after two, um, what the hell? Guys, what? 10% communist? Oh my god, I'd love it if the US went communist. That would just be amazing. Please go communist. 
I think NATO might freaking get disbanded if that's the case, if they go communist. Um, I didn't want to make them go communist just because that's cheap. And I'm not cheap. Alright, the election's coming up, and I'd say they're pretty communist. 40% of the country is communist. Pakistan doesn't have an election, so we're just going to wait until it's basically all the country, and they're forced to. Because they're going to have a civil war. Or that you can just, like, you know, be whatever. Do they can be whatevs, man. Alright, speed it back up. We'll restore the USSR. Unbreakable union of the free republics, the great Russia has wielded it forever to stand. Long live the creation of the will of the people, the united, the mighty, the only, the great, the Soviet Union. Yes, we'll be done in a hundred and something days. How about our justification on Finland? Come on. Like 45 days? Cool. We're only at 2% world tension. I'm loving that. Expand the army. And... Missile cruiser. Get that being built. Take a long ass time, but it'll get being built. And more factories, too, which is great. We can always use more factories. I don't think we have any support equipment being made, so let's change that. And we'll even decrease one from the guns, so that we can put it in support equipment. Multicam! There we go! Research available. Improved anti-tank weapons. Hey, Finland, are you ready? Doesn't look like it. You don't really have any troops on your border. Maybe it's because you don't have many troops, period. That might be that might be part of it. Alrighty. Winter War is part two. Hopefully I don't get my ass kicked this time. Cause we took that from them and that is pretty much all that they did. And this too, I guess. United States go to war. Wait, hold on. All diplomats of the United States have failed. They will now sort out their differences with their enemy on the battlefield. May the heavens help us. On a rock. Okay, cool. Good for you, America. You go get that oil. Holy crap, you got there quick. Oh, because you have military access to Saudi. I forgot about that. No, a rock. Fight him off. You can do it. Justification is finished. Alright, Finland. Prepare to die. Because guess what you're going to do pretty soon. Now we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah. I don't really think we need to let the AI do that much. Declare war. We'll get Bell. Wait, Finland gets events. Call EU military aid. It's 3% world tension, guys. That's just military aid, though, so I think we're good. Alrighty, you guys can take them out and march here. You bully him. 
you can bully him in our Winter Wars Part 2, baby. Except this time we won't get our ass kicked, we'll be the ones kicking ass. We've gotten our asses kicked, but we did take a lot of stuff from them, so that's all that matters. Fight! <gasps> Ooh! Belarus and SSR. So who's in this war now? Jimmy. Okay, yeah, NATO. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, that didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. So um, we're just gonna do this thing called um, exit to menu. Okay. Quit. Single player, continue. And look at that, we're all buds. Nothing bad ever happened. See, look. Nothing bad ever happened. Nothing bad ever happened. Look at that, we're best friends. We're not justifying against you. No, pfft. We don't want to conquer you. You're our friends, Finland. Come on. Get with the program. We're just researching some stuff. You okay? Leave us alone. Finland, why don't you love me?